What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Team Chat Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Jarrett Wilson, joined to my right by Rachel Mogan. How's it going? And to my left, Zachary Parks. How's it going? Oh, I hate you. What? The double I hate your guts. I just said it going? Why do you do <laughs> these things? <laughs> I didn't say it like you did. <laughs> but in case you did not know, Team Chat Podcast is a video game podcast where we talk about games, the ones we love, the ones we hate, and everything in between. If you want to get in contact with us, you can do that by sending us an email at teamchatpodcast.gmail.com, following us on Twitter, liking us on Facebook, and subscribing to our YouTube and iTunes channels. If you want to support the show, you can do that too by going to patreon.com slash teamchatpodcast, where as for as little as a dollar a month, you can support the show. And in return, we will give you a cool perk, like getting the episode early before its general Tuesday release, and access to our Team Chat Podcast private Discord server. In fact, Mogan looks like she's pulling up some Discord action right no, now. No, I'm actually wow. just throwing my splat Discord. If you could uh, mind you your can, own yeah, business. You could just uh, well, continue you, with the thing you turn you your do. phone <laughs> looking no, at me like that's you're... that's just because you know, I... <laughs> Like you're Just trying to show friends. me something here, so no, no, I'm so just, sorry. I'm so bored with your intro. <laughs> I see, I see. I That's see. that makes sense. Okay, That's a low blow. That's <laughs> a low blow for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so we'll go ahead and give the the winner of the or the the game for the song contest for last week, and I gave the hint. Discover the beginnings of an ancient order. Now. If you won, you'll see that on Facebook and all that stuff. We're recording before the winner has been formally <laughs> chosen. But the game is Assassin's Creed Origins. Whoa, what a surprise! Yeah, I know, Squaw. super obvious. Squaw. But the reason I chose this game for a reason, and that is because when I'm doing my review, I completely skipped the soundtrack, and it is great. How could you? I know, How could you miss I know, the soundtrack? One of the most important parts of any real. game, and I completely just overlooked it. Did not give it its due credit, and so you should really check out that one. Uh, I'm going to double check the composer's name. I believe it's Sarah Schne- Shader. Ooh, fancy. So, but uh, let me make sure that's how you say her name. Schneider, maybe. Shader. Possibly. Schneider. Uh, Schneider. Composer. Yeah. What is it? She's the heir to the pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> she really branched it is out. Not Jester Kid. <laughs> that's Google. A, that's a guy. <laughs> Shackner. Yeah. Shackner. Sarah my name Shackner. Is Jesper. Are you sure it's that thing? No, that's not him. Oh, okay. that, that's wrong. That's me. Who the hell is that? <laughs> that's Jesper Kid. Kide. Or however you say his name. You don't know Jesper Kide? <laughs> okay. You've you been living under a rock? <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Shackner. She also did Assassin's Creed Unity, this says. But she did Assassin's Creed Origins. It's excellent because it has this great feel of obviously ancient Egypt. It gives you that great feel. But then it has this recurring mode of this like, and it's in the song, the uh, section of the song that I chose for the, sa- for the song contest, where it's like this. Da, 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 kind of thing in a really technical way, that techno-ish huh. electronic way that almost sounds like you could put it with Blade Runner and it would fit. Huh. How does that work with Assassin's Creed Origins? Yeah. Well, it, does, it, it, it does fit. Well, because you know the whole thing with Assassin's Creed is there's oh, the, right. the ancient yes. person and then the modern forget, counterpart. Right. So it kind of has got me. that I like, like that. that tied in uh, <laughs> that tied in technology right. aspect. I so totally it kind of works. But this one, it does a really good job yeah. of combining the two uh, the two influences. And mm-hmm. so I love the soundtrack. And that was the the main theme that I put as the as song. an aside. Do you feel like Assassin's Creed could leave that whole future aspect behind and be just fine yeah why don't they that's what <laughs> it's, it's so I, far i think it's such an integral part of the game that's that they so have to stupid have it. it's in origins very limited though like i've in the whole time that i've played i've only interacted with the modern counterpart layla i've only uh, played as her for maybe 10 minutes so i mean it's very minimal. you shouldn't have to play as those future people at all yeah I, that, when i played the first one that's just i didn't even get to the ancient times well no the, the modern the, times were so boring well, yeah no, and the i was first like one, I, first God, one, I hate you're, this you're the modern person which I understand. They're setting up the series. They're setting up the everything. But you're the modern person for like Bug the first me. 20, 30 I know. Of the yeah, game. I was like, it's gross. a while. Do all this stuff. But yeah. So check out the full soundtrack for Assassin's Creed Origins. It is great. But this is a perfect tie-in to what we're talking about what today because this is now volume four. Oh, we were, is it four? Ooh. It's four. Are you sure? I checked. I think okay. it's four. I, I thought it was five. I almost thought it was five. I but volume four. Five. Of soundtracks, yay! Ooh, I know because I had library. to go back and like check the old ones. I, I was like, too. "What did I talk about?" I, looked at, I had to go back and look at it too because I was like, "I feel some of the games." I was like, "Oh, I'm do this one." Did I do this one? Yeah. But I know I've also used some of the games that I was looking at too for song contests and different things like that. So I was like, "I want to play it safe." But uh, but yes, we got a great lineup of some hot 
flame and lit tracks. <sighs> lit fam. Lit. It's lit. <laughs> Young people speak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't wait for some future archaeologist to come down into a library and uncover go, team chat yes, podcast and volume one, two, three, and four. You know, What's, what let's open up scholarly yeah. volumes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> open up volume four of team chat podcast <laughs> music episodes. Let's discuss. Let's discuss. <laughs> let's discuss. <laughs> Be two hundred years from now. Someone's writing their dissertation yeah. on it. <laughs> some <laughs> some yeah. poor graduate student. <laughs> So the first game, I'll kick us off. Uh, so the first game that I wanted to talk about is one that uh, came out this year. It is Super Giant's Pyre. Ooh, hmm. I'm glad you brought it up. They are nominated also they for are. Indie Game of the Year. Yes, which yeah. I voted for them for the Game Awards. Ooh, they for, deserve it. It was a toss-up for me be- between Pyre and Cuphead because Cuphead Ooh, did great things, right. I but I played Pyre, in there. Ah, so I feel big, like I big difference. Big <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Cuphead looks great. But I know what Pyre is exactly. <laughs> Cuphead looks great on paper, but I'm kind of like, I uh, don't know about this, you know. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. man. so but I went with I went with Pyre, but Pyre still outstanding, great game. Uh, so anyway, the first uh, the the why I like this soundtrack, and it's done by the same guy. I actually realized in the last uh, episode I did another super giant game, Bastion. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. and so it's the same composer, Darren Corb. Oh, who did Pyre? He actually does all of all of uh, their games. Oh, just all of them. Period. They've only got the one. They sound have three. Guy. Oh, okay. yeah, I mean, they have three <laughs> games so far, but it's always been Darren Corb has been the, oh, has okay. been the gotcha. composer. And so, if you watch the review episode, our review episode of uh, for Pyre, you know, we talked about how it's really the, it's got this medieval almost Renaissance feel to it, and how like uh, how the characters are dressed, how they talk, and especially when you're con- when you're performing one of the rites, like the overseer of the rites, how he talks and everything. So it's got this very this this medieval feel to it, and the music translates that v- very well and has this. Uh, a more medieval classic feel to it as well, but also with a very, with a more of a, with a modern twist to it. So, but what makes the power soundtrack so great is that it has its, its normal themes and modes that sound very much in this medieval classic theme. Uh, but then with each of the different groups that you encounter on your travels, it will have each one has a different theme as well. Which is really great. A lot of them are this classic. This one I'm going to play later is more of like swashbuckling on the high seas kind of feeling. <laughs> one of them is like is like almost a metal song. It's like a hard guitar going, dan, 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 awesome. you know, like strumming really hard like that. So it's got a lot of different feels. And then also, as typical with Super Giant soundtracks, also they have a few songs that have lyrics where Darren Korb and then uh, Ashley Barrett will sing. Ashley Barrett co-writes a lot some of the songs, but then also performs most of the singing on them. She did all the singing in. Bastion and Transistor, and then this one they both do. Okay. And so there's a lot of variation to the soundtrack, which keeps it very fresh feeling and, and you know, provides a lot. You don't get tired of it, and it's all really great. But so this song is my favorite from the soundtrack, and it's called Knights of the Sea, and it's for the uh, – they're basically worms, is what they are. Is this what this group <laughs> is I, called? How do I put it? Uh, <laughs> they're <earthworms>. worms. <laughs> I the, the the actual term of what they're called is escaping me right now. But they're but they're really funny because they're they're basically these these worm like creatures who are these knights and they you know like the character that you interact with the most is one is called Sir Gilman and he's like no. obviously this very small creature but he's like courageous like I will attack you know, all this, this <laughs> and like very you know over the top full of bravado huh. uh, and so anyway you first encounter these creatures. In in a sea area. And so this track is called Knights of the Sea, and it's the theme for... Uh, for the worm Sir, theme, if for you will. Wormy. For Sir Gilman. <laughs> like epic piratey kind totally. of feel but like but it also has that modern flair to it 
Yeah, like Dropkick Murphy. <laughs> it does. It sounds just like Dropkick Murphy. <laughs> nice uh, working it, it in. Well, well, no, but it, it, it is, really though. does. That's I like, hadn't thought of that, but like, it does getting. very much <laughs> feel <laughs> like a like a Dropkick Murphy song. You're right. And shipping it's, it's up it's to Boston. Buckling. You know, it's definitely got that underscore of just traditional pirate music. Yeah, yeah it, it really does. does. Yeah. So all of these themes and all these different tracks apply themselves yeah. really well. <laughs> <laughs> to all the uh, to all the different groups that you come across come across another great one another track that's an honorable mention from the soundtrack is called the downside ballad which is like kind of the main theme of the game but okay. it's it's really great and i looked it up while we listened to the song it, they are just called worms but it's w-y-r-m classic yeah. sci-fi Those fantasy mood yeah. exactly they're not worms they're, they're worms, they're worms. <laughs> but anyway <laughs> so pyre by darren corb check it out boom boom smogan why don't you yeah. decide I would be I next? Like I mean, yeah. you're next in my list of tabs. I'm next in the list. Yeah. So all I know I accidentally... <laughs> the tabs uh, are all powerful <laughs> and all my I obey the tabs. I sneaked a peek and I know that mine and Zach's are like kind of similar uh, this, this be time. Good. This will be yeah. good. So uh, I'm just going to let... I want you to play the track first. Okay. And then for the listeners, I want you to like be trying to guess what you think mm. this is from. Mm. I mean, I'm looking at what game this goes to, <laughs> and it's blowing my mind that I don't understand in what world that these two match and go together. So that is from a Tekken Tag Tournament. That is Shall Yu's theme. Okay. So I don't know how much either of you know about Tekken. I presume nothing. Not really anything. Hey, at all. Yeah, yeah. I played Tekken two frequently. Okay, that actually, <laughs> so when I was you're younger, actually pretty I like close. Tekken. But there's a quick trick that, because yeah. Tekken three is when Shall Yu the character came along, ah. and it really doesn't matter that much because yeah. Tekken Tag Tournament. This is the first one, I not remember, Tech and Tag I remember Tournament. This game coming out. Two, yeah. I remember no, this. It was awesome. It was cool. Oh, dude, the oh, I almost used the theme from the opening movie. Mm. I was like, oh, it's a really tough choice. But Xiao Yu's theme is so fun, and I feel like it has so much about it that encompasses Tekken in a shot glass. Mm. Because everything about that track is like pow, fun, high energy, with like Random little hints of disco yeah. thrown in Super everywhere. Especially when it starts. Disco. It sounds straight up out of oh, Saturday Night Fever. Straight up, or the Bee Gees. Straight up or disco. Or like Zion in The Matrix. Remember yeah. The yeah last a city. little bit like that. <laughs> Remember that dance rave they have in that <laughs> Matrix 2? Remember that? Yes, we do. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> So anyway, so Xiao Yu is one of the youngest characters in the series as of when this game would have been coming out. And so like she's meant to be, you know, kind of young, youthful energy. And this particularly disco funk theme, I think, is so, uh, so characteristic of mm-hmm. her as a person. It's just like, yes. And her, this only plays on her level. So mm-hmm. anytime that you're picking the stage, it's like, well, which one are we going to pick? Duh, we're going to pick Xiao Yu stage. It's the most fun. We want that ball and track to play at all times. <laughs> That's all right. That matters. And it's so, it, what's great about it in particular is that even though it's a repetitive track, you know, it just loops and loops and loops and loops. Every time there's that lull between when they're about to re-loop the track and it builds back up to mm-hmm. kind of the chorus again, it never, it never gets old for me. Like every time it comes back around, I'm like, and there it is. Like, <laughs> it just never gets old. And that makes fights especially fun because, of course, if you're fighting with your friends and you've got, you know, you're going up to seven games a piece and you've got the timer set to infinity and you're both at opposite ends of the mm-hmm, stage mm-hmm. just trying to juke each other out, like, who's going to charge first? It's not going to be me. I guess we'll just wait it out for forever. It's, it never gets old. And I think that's what's great about the Tekken games in general mm-hmm. is that, as we've seen all the way up to Tekken 7, they never get old. And B, they're just fun. 
and a lot of other fighting games like Mortal Kombat, for example, or even uh, things like Street Fighter. They don't have same. that same. <laughs> they, don't <laughs> 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 they don't have that same element of fun for me. And right. this track mm. is so indicative of that. It's so great, in fact, that in Tekken Seven they brought a new feature in that's called like Jukebox, where you can basically select to play updated, remastered versions oh, that's of awesome. old game soundtracks, that's and great. they've got that's all badass. of them in there. So we always put it to Tekken Tag Tournament because and not only is Shall Use theme awesome, the whole, the whole, every track, yeah. every track. Warangs is awesome. Yoshimitsu's that was my runner up, the Yoshimitsu track. But Shall Use is the clear winner for obvious reasons. I mean, anyone can hear for themselves. <laughs> So wh- which one, because I know you used a track from this game for one of the song contests we've done in the past. Which that one was that? That would have been from Tekken Tag Six? Tournament uh, no. 2, ah. the Wii U version Good. specifically. So specific. <laughs> Mighty. So specific. <laughs> because the Wii U version had Tekken Ball Mode, That's, which I remember the ball and it was high school love. I remember okay. I would have <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Moving on. No, I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm lost. I don't know what's happening anymore. I just know Tekken Tag <laughs> Tournament <laughs> 2 <laughs> for the Wii U. From Give the, me the link so I can put it in the G- Jesus. The but that's not the game we're talking about. We're talking about Tekken Tag Tournament 1. <laughs> for the Wii. Different. Not no, it's not even for the Wii. It's I for the know. PlayStation 2, you bastard. <laughs> I just, you know, you never know. These games apparently go on everything. <laughs> and have specific versions for each and every console. <laughs> they do. Tekken's keeping oh, it real. Oh, man. So that's, you're right. This is an excellent segue, excellent then. Excellent segue to Into mine. Zach. In what fact, is your I'm going to go on ahead and say that mine's better than Zach's. Oh, I my. haven't even heard it well, yet. Oh, my. That's neither near or here <laughs> nor there. <laughs> because near I don't far, have a wherever you are. when it comes to this game. I, I'm, I, it would be wrong to say I'm, I'm a fan of, of this series because I have not played it enough. I played a little bit when I was younger. And here's, here's how I came to this game. I, and we haven't talked about this on Team Chat, but we should do an episode about uh, menus. Mm. And like oh, menu yeah. layouts and loading screens and stuff Ooh, like that. That would be a fun topic. Yeah. My number two could tie into that very <laughs> well. Shall we just Back derail? A little <laughs> ping pong here. Um, and uh, so I knew that for this, for one of my picks, I wanted to use menu music or character selection music. Ah. Man, that's getting closer to my game. Uh, <laughs> I think about like I think about like all the games I played in like the character selection menu or like the level selection. The music there is very indicative of like the game overall and yep. gets you in the mood and stuff like that. So you can play this and then I'll tell say what it's from. But I'm, I'm sure some people will recognize it. Oh, it's only thirty me? seconds. It's only oh. thirty seconds, right? Ooh. Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. to go out of limb there say yours is better than Mogan's. oh, oh <laughs> agreed <smack> you. agreed <laughs> it's, disagree uh, yeah that that i mean so that game is from street fighter 2 turbo i actually don't i don't technically i don't know if i've ever played street fighter 2 turbo i played street fighter 2 you know what's actually really interesting about this i am 95 not 99 i'm 95 yeah. percent certain that this game is now on the SNES Classic. Oh, really? really? I th- it, at least a that Street Fighter. That sounds right. At least one of the Street Fighters is on the Classic. Well, and it's I was like, this it's, sounds familiar. It's 91, 92, 93 is what it's saying the copyright is for this game. So maybe? I don't, I don't know. know. But the point is, I actually would have played that this yeah. weekend with Bro Bogan. Nice. Because uh, he has his little SNES. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because he got, got his like SNES Classic. But for the, the next one yeah, up. But no. little. Little. That one's oh, pretty I thought I had mine out here. My Maybe one. Oh. Out here. When he sh- when he showed it to me, I was like, "Is this a joke? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, it's so tiny. <laughs> it's so tiny." <laughs> but model. yeah, so we played Street Fighter, and yeah. I I think it was you this heard that one. song. I'm pretty sure, and that's just the main title. That, like that that's like the opening title yeah. sequence or whatever. And yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, I was just gonna say the only reason I say that I think I mean I'm s- somewhat kidding, but because the one from Tekken is <laughs> is also very funny. But this one makes for the time period that this game yeah. came out, it makes more sense yeah. to yes. be the music of the game rather than the one and from I Tekken. Love, I love it. Great about Tekken is that know, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> all I haven't place. played a Tekken game ever, so like I, I don't understand. I haven't played How Street Fighter. Dare you ever. Yeah, it's like <laughs> so, but like still, like in my head, that fit more with yeah. Street Fighter. It's like a nice little package of not even Street Fighter, but just like early '90s video games. Yeah, like, yeah. I think there's. Yeah. I always I feel like pick one game that's like. 
I think my other game's kind of nostalgia inducing, but I always I do love this eight bit style. Oh yeah, it's great. Little bling at the end, like yeah. it's like Sonic esque. It's like a yep. little gold gold nugget that you can reach for before you start the game. You know, it's very hopeful. There's yeah. something really nice about going into a game with that kind of music. And, st- and, and, and like, listen, I love new music. I love like like one of my picks is dark and like very moody. But when I think of video games, that's the kind of music I think of. Yeah. I just love, like, I love that they've incor- included big orchestras for new games, obviously. Right. But there's something very special about, like, 90s video game music. And my other one is actually a 90s video game song as well. That's Ooh. a little bit more, like, actual, like, song, like a, a song. But, um, yeah, I'm just a sucker. I mean, it almost sounds like Pokemon, then Sonic, and then it Street does. Fighter. You know, it's all, all things melded together. Yeah, that's, just that like, creates that I '90s video that game sound. feeling. Yeah, yeah, I'm such a sucker for that sound. You need a SNES Classic. I know. It's got just, that just more. Listen to the music. Yeah. Just, just put turn it on. on. <laughs> turn it on. And listen to the music. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I, I bought this uh, eighty eighty dollar music player that plays it's a music thirty box. different songs. Yeah. <laughs> Most expensive MP three player ever. Not portable. Does no, not include. You have to have a TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll move along then to my second one. I love those first round of choices. Great so far. Everyone, good job. Everyone, good job. Zach's again. So, so forgettable. <laughs> Street Fighter Two Turbo is burned. All right, so we're gonna move on then to my to my second song. Which, uh, this one is great. I'm not going to leave people hanging like you guys are done. It's, it's oh, easier on. for me to describe to it. it. <laughs> uh, but no, so I've talked about this game several times before on the, sh- on the show, and I think I might have used a similar song to this one on, the, uh, on a song contest before, but those are 20-second blurbs. Don't, we don't get to talk about it, really, so I'm going to talk about it a little bit more now. Uh, the game is Far Cry 3 Ooh, Ooh. Okay. by Brian Tyler. Oh. And so, you know, in the, when I've talked about this one, I think this one actually may have hit... Because I remember, like, in, it, the one thing that I remember that I've talked about the most about this game is the level where you're burning the marijuana yeah, fields and, and it plays the, like, oh, the right. Skrillex right. and, and right. Damian right. Marlowe song. Right. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's crazy. I love it. That was the point of the uh, game when I was like, I legitimately love this game now. It's great. <laughs> uh, but the music of Far Cry, as you would imagine, is since you're on this island being constantly chased by pirates and and wildlife yeah. and, and mercenaries. Oh, yours have to do with pirates. pirates. I know. What's with you today? Pirates. It's a great theme. I gotta it's love a good pirate theme. So dramatic. My next song is from Pirates of the Caribbean Lego. <laughs> <laughs> you that caught me. So Just funny. like the actual theme of Pirates of the um, Caribbean. <laughs> but like <laughs> Lego <laughs> It's like, I think this is cheating. <laughs> but uh, no, I just went to movies, not, not video games. I strayed. I strayed too far. <laughs> but uh, but so you know in Far Cry it's a very action packed game carnage is all around and th- the music reflects that you know if you want to check out one that's a very I mean other than the I think it's Make It Burn Dim is what the Skrillex and Damian Marley song is but um, but you know another one that you could check out that's really like that is Fever Dream in the sound is in this soundtrack that's a very much you know in that part of the game you're on like a drug induced trip you know <laughs> like going around Far the Cry. Far Cry games are crazy for God's sake Far the Far Cry yeah. games are crazy <laughs> but so you're going around and you're doing all these crazy things you know uh doing all these crazy fights and especially the ending of the game um i'm not i won't go too into detail into it because that's not why we're here today but the, you know the, you go through and you kill all the bad the big baddies and then you go and like you have this confrontation that can go one of two ways and it's in a very emotional like gut-wrenching impact whichever one you wind up choosing and whichever one winds up happening and so it's one of those things it's it's not quite how like the same impact is like the last of us or the end of life is strange was where it's like this happens. And then you just sit there as the credits roll. Like, Whoa, what is, <laughs> what yeah, is life, happening? Yeah, or not life is strange. Uh, yeah, yeah, the last of us. Yeah. You talk about the ending. Oh yeah. yeah. And so it's a, uh, and so it's not quite as emotional on that impact, but still it's <clears> a game <throat> that's been filled with carnage, filled with death, filled with explosions, action mm-hmm. over the top drugs, whatever. It's crazy. It in there. And then the ending happens. You're left to like, Oh shit. Like what? what did I just witness? And then this song starts playing during <laughs> the credits. Blood on my hand. And oh, for sure. So much blood on your hands. <laughs> Drop your controller. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Uh, mama. <laughs> but so the credits start rolling. This song starts playing. And I remembered even when I, I was playing it, I was like, what is this? Like, this is so different than everything that's been in the soundtrack so far. I'm expecting Mary had a little lamb. It's not that. <laughs> okay. Lime in the coconut. But it's a, but, uh, but so anyway, this song is further. It plays during the, during the end credits featuring Sarah McKinney. And so this is, this is further.
really, so, really good. It's, it's, it's amazing, beautiful. but good God, does it not fit. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were talking. That is mean, such yeah. a mismatch. <laughs> yeah, we were talking. It deserves we, a better we, we, were, we were joking while it was playing, and we're like, oh, we don't think Sarah McKinney knew that it was going to be for Far Cry. <laughs> She's like, you want me to play this beautiful song? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I'll do sure. it. I put my heart and soul into this. And we're, then she <laughs> finds out it's for freaking Far Cry 3, and she's like, I want my money back. <laughs> Maybe I'm ragging on Far Cry 2. But, so, right, but no, but like, so you can imagine. So like, like, the, it, to beautiful. give a picture of it, the, the emotional climax of the game happens. The end credit screen is just this still image of a lone like boat that may be on fire, like floating. That might be on fire. <laughs> that's like floating <laughs> out in the... <laughs> That's floating out in the in the water, and then there's like a machete stuck into the the sea that's like close up to you that has like blood floating off it and mm. stuff like that. All while that's playing, hmm. that makes no sense. It's ridiculous, <laughs> but like beautiful. I remember just, and it's still one of my favorite soundtrack songs. It, just because, oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. I'm not, we are really, absolutely not saying oh, it's, it's not a, a, it's yeah. an gorgeous amazing track. piece of music. Holy cow! And it's just, and but it, that's playing, and I'm just sitting there like. What? Yeah. It's, it's this confusion trying to process what I just played and then also trying to take in this amazing piece of music. And it just Beautiful. created this total mix of emotion that fits in its own weird way into Far Cry 3. I'm going to so write a dissertation about that. To, that's why with I had my to play firm disagreement. Yeah. <laughs> so that's <laughs> actually, though, like, no a, one should listen to this like a remix <laughs> or not a, not a remix, but a but a. Uh, alternate version of the main theme of the game, which is for, just called oh, Far Cry 3, which I think you hear like in the intro, but the same kind of thing. It's the intro. You don't know what you're getting into yet. And then right. they, per, they put on this, they tag on this incredibly emotional version of it at mm-hmm. the very end of the game. It wow. blew me away when it's I played awesome. it. Her version is way better than the beginning version. Oh yeah. It's, it's fantastic game. So that's further from Far Cry 3. Nice. Mogan. All right. So what do you got? What in, you got? in absolute basis. contrast to how <laughs> your no 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 just how your song does not fit into Far Cry at all. Mine is absolutely the the audio poster child of okay. what this game is. So I just got Persona 5. Nice. And I'm I have a lot of different thoughts and feelings about the game. What what but one of the ones that has a no contest theme is the music is freaking amazing. The soundtrack is not what I expected in the slightest. When the opening credits started, I was like, what the damn hell did I buy? (laughs) Because I just bought it because it was literally on sale. I looked at it in the store and I was like, 25 bucks, that's a freaking steal. So I just (laughs) bought it. Like I had no real reason to, I just wanted to. Mm. And then I loaded it up and me and bro Mogan are sitting there and we're like, happening <laughs> I don't, I don't understand we don't really know what, what i want get ourselves into <laughs> so the further you get into it the more the game starts to fall into place but one of the things that from start to i presume finish i actually haven't gotten that far mm-hmm. quite yet is that the soundtrack is absolutely stunning yeah. and i was really torn about which track i was going to use because they're all so good i almost wanted to use just the basic main battle theme mm-hmm. which for being a basic battle theme in a turn-based game it's something amazing to make one of those that you never want to stop playing. Nice. But this, I think I wound up for Life Will Change is yes. the one that I decided. So this is Persona 5's Life I'm Will Change. I'm very curious to hear this. You're, it's going to blow you away. Liam Lee! Lee. Okay, that makes choice. That makes sense with what I've seen and heard of Persona. So that's the thing. Persona Five is I've so disclaimer. I haven't finished the game by any means. I'm literally like one tenth of the way into it, and I've never played another Persona game in my life. This is my first one mm. ever. It's the most 
in your face <laughs> game I think I've ever played. Not in terms of like, tell. well, you know, actually, yeah, in terms of pretty much everything. Like the attitude that the game has towards <laughs> you, the player, it's like, how dare you, sir? <laughs> and graphically, the graphic nature of the game in how there's a very powerful black and red motif in Persona uh, 5. Tell, and yeah. it's extreme. Like, like they don't, no holds barred. They're mm. like, we're going to throw it at you every way till Sunday. And it almost wouldn't work. There are times in the game where I'm like, this is too ridiculous. But the music makes it work. I feel like that's what pulls all of that attitude in together and makes it actually something that's not too ridiculous that it can't be believed. Mm. It's so much youthful rebellion and like yeah. all of this stuff that's just kind of balled up into one giant mass of audio magicalness. And the soundtrack is so, it's so good for that. I have nothing else. You can buy the soundtrack on its own, 110 tracks for oh 30 bucks. That, yeah, it's a $30, a it's a $30 a soundtrack. And that includes all the DLC and stuff like that. But I think it's it I think very it's worth like it. Anime style music. It yeah. is. It's very jazz and yeah. funk anime style yeah. music. Yeah. And it's uh, so that was actually I, I should know, say her name. This is Shoji Meguro. Meguro? I don't know how to say it right. <clears throat> is the composer. And the lyricist is Lin Ino Inaizumi. Lin Inaizumi? I think that's her name. So I was actually a little surprised the few, first few tracks that I heard with her on vocals. It's all in English. Yeah. I was like, I don't know where she's from. I actually wasn't sure if the vocalist was Japanese or not. And I had to look it up and I was like, wow, her English is really interesting sounding. Yeah. Sometimes you can't quite tell what she's saying, but it's like, I don't care. I'm part deaf anyways. Mm. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I kind of like when it started playing, I see I've always had, I've had a weird I've never played any of the Persona games either, but the only one that I like really heard anything of, other than you know, because there's always the Persona one, two, three, four, and five, or whatever. But the one that I heard about the most and the most recent is a spinoff of Persona Four called Persona Four Dancing All Night. That's a <laughs> that's a, awesome. like a rhythm game, and it came yes. out on Vita and stuff like that. So in my head, I've always kind of assumed it's like this weird disco y dancey game. Can you game. imagine playing that on a rhythm game? I would absolutely do that. Oh, yeah. That would be oh, so yeah. fun. So, uh, but, so I was like, that makes sense. But <laughs> like, still sense. doesn't tell me what this game's about at all. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you just, it's a great track. You'll have to play it it's yourself. Cool the whole game looks like that. It looks like your black and red Darth Vader. Oh, Ooh. But Love cooler. The, the Stark art style. <laughs> but cooler. One of these days. Zing. Jared's going to smack Bing, me. Bang, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to get a backhand from <laughs> Lord Jared. Right, it's going to be recorded. No. It's going to be on audio. No, I would never. I would not do that. <laughs> would never. All right, He Zach. would have one of his servants do it for him. Yes, I would have, one of, one I would of have Henry. Serfs. Get Fender in here. One of the serfs. <laughs> All um, right. So, Zach, yes. what is your number so, two game? If... If you song. if when you hear this this and this is gonna take you back if you've played this game I'm excited it's to it's to this it's one. gonna be super it's gonna make you feel just like you're right back in your living room on the N64 even though you can I play this yeah. I haven't seen it is it Star Fox no oh, damn That'd it I thought it was great pick what you gosh what were you Shit. thinking next time pause next time. everything turn we'll, off we'll have volume unplug, five unplug. soon <laughs> enough <laughs> uh, no this is so you can this it's okay it's cruising USA oh <laughs> I didn't know nice. I could do that um, but you can either uh, just too excited yeah I'm so excited <laughs> this is one of my favorite like honestly songs of like any game when you hear this it's just it's 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 the perfect encapsulating feel of cruising USA USA. Let's do it. It goes on and on. It it's like on. very different. It's like lots of different ver like uh, parts of that song. song. <laughs> it's a crazy like I remember, song. I remembered all the stuff at the beginning, and it immediately <laughs> took me back. And but ah. then yeah, it gets to the oh ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh. Ah, so that's Cruise in USA. Oh, they have a lot awesome. of female vocals in Not there. safe for work edition. It's it, you know, it's a little <laughs> I don't think work. it would be viewed in in good light anymore. No, it's like cuz isn't all the like the, the girls in bikinis, girls in bikinis doing waving the, the flag, flag. All this stuff. It's I mean, part of the MO for God. Cruise in USA. <laughs> but I know. still. Yeah. When but I'm like 8, I'm like this is great. This is great. <laughs> Can I have the fast car? <laughs> Mom, the lady's wanna... keeping it too long. I can't race. I need to race and I can't. I want to go fast, mom. I want to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful women. This is the life I want. Yeah, that's yeah. But yeah, isn't that it's regardless of the over sexualization of it a little oh, bit? Yeah. It's a great little tune. It is a great. That, that's dun, a very dun, fun dun, song dun, for yeah. sure. Dun, dun, I love that boom. little like what is it like a low marimba? Yeah, what was that I know. Sound? But then it like builds into like the organ. Yeah, then it goes. I mean, I'm telling you, there's a lot of different parts to it. How fun. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> have, you, have you ever heard? That reminds me a lot of so. A few years ago, Sam and I went and saw Fleetwood Mac in concert, and they did this one song called... Where are you going with this, Jared? Well, <laughs> it, it has a point. It, it's called Big, Big Love, Joy. and uh, and Lindsey Buckingham came out and, and performed the song, and he just did it by himself, and, I, and he was like playing the guitar crazy fast. It was a super awesome song. I'm like, this is badass. I yeah. love this song. Go and add it to my Spotify later. Same thing, and it's him and Stevie Nicks. You know, Stevie Nicks comes in on, in, on the song version, not that he did in the concert, and... It's great, and it's the same thing. I was like, oh, man, this song's so good. It had a little bit more backing than just his guitar. This is what he did at the concert. But then, like, the last minute of the song is him and Stevie Nicks switching off going, ooh, ah, <laughs> ooh, ah. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> well, this is ruined. This isn't as good anymore. It's ruined. I don't want to watch this. Uh, can we just have this? Can I just have the option to cut this off like, before the last minute of the song? But anyway, you put, take it into what, Adobe Premiere. You I, can do it. And then just re-import it into my yeah, iTunes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you have the Release it on iTunes. <laughs> Is your own version be like I made this song, like, I made this song. Of hits. it sounds the exact same yes but the last minute is not on the song <laughs> and and we're, and we're, I fixed it everyone we're spared Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks' sex uh, all of the reviews Great. will be like Jared Wilson the hero we yeah. don't deserve but need <laughs> Empire Magazine Empire. <laughs> oh man okay so my third song that I'm going to go with for this uh, this episode comes from Until Dawn ah Gasp, so gasp. okay, so the original <laughs> the crowd was Wait a back. second. So you're not doing a single one from Horizon Zero Dawn. I did Horizon last time. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. No, Let I me take back my anger. I, <laughs> checked. I had to oh, check my because furious rage, I will put deep inside. I was thinking about it. I mean, I wanted to. There's a lot of good stuff to pick there. Don't worry, I can now. always I redirect all of okay. my rage to <laughs> Uncharted, so it's fine. That's true. But I, the, I mean, there, there was even like now the DLC soundtrack is out too, so I could have chosen some mm, stuff. Cheating. Technicality. <laughs> but decided not to. Decided to decided to go you with something new. It's not the way you want to wish. No. <laughs> so the music, the orchestral score of until dawn is composed by J- jason graves but this is not from the orchestral music it's interesting how many songs we're choosing this episode that deal with that have uh, lyrics to them and this one does as well it's the theme that plays in the opening video and i actually we don't have to watch the whole thing the first minute is fine to give us a deal but this so we'll watch this first and play this um but the song is called oh death and it's uh, by Jeff Grace and performed by Amy Van R- Rokel. Rekel. Fascinating. 
Is that, that, yeah, it is fascinating. That's not what I was expecting. Like, um, uh, a James Bond opening or something. It's got that same sort of like female vocal that's mm-hmm. the lyrics are like kind of on the nose about like what you it know. is. Yeah, what, what it's gonna kind be. of movie you're going to watch. Yeah, yeah kind of. Yeah. yeah, and so, and that honestly is the reason why I picked this one because. Until Dawn, I'd only heard about before I played. You know, I'd, I'd heard about it. I kind of knew what it was, but I didn't know what to expect. And, you know, the before that plays, you get the whole prologue, basically, that sets up the story. Like, yeah. the tra- you know, it referenced it there where it's like the tragedy. One year ago today is the tragedy of that took place on Mount Washington, which is the these two uh, teenage girls who are friends of all the main group go missing, you know, presumed possibly dead and all that stuff. And it never, never found. And that's what kind of is the catalyst for the events of the game. So I'd seen all that, gotten a hint at what the terrors that I was going to withhold. The terror, the <laughs> horrors. The horrors I was going to withhold. Yeah, I was going to behold in the game. But then this starts. And, you know, if you're watching the, the YouTube video version, you see, like, the the visuals that go along with this. It's very much a setup just like a, the opening of, like, a movie would be or something yeah, sure, like sure. that. So it gives so it automatically sets an incredibly cinematic tone for the game. And for me, that that with the same way have like the make them burn them song for far cry three. It was yeah. like, I'm going to love this game. Yeah. When that started, I was like, Oh, this is going to be good. Cause yeah, it, it, cool. it just set the whole tone for the game for me and kind of immediately set my expectations as to what I was going to be getting. And then especially once I finished the game and was able to see what I got, <laughs> I was like, Oh, that's great. And it's yeah. been, and it's been stuck in my head ever since that game. So that's oh, why I had to go with oh, You're in the shower. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, so pleasant little tune. Yeah, it's a little, put a little that ditty. on repeat. <laughs> Sunny that. days and smiles yeah. are what you oh. think of. Put that on all your Christmas yeah. party playlists. Yeah. So there you go. Un- o oh, death from until dawn. I feel like sorry. I don't know if, if we're segueing, I feel like I should. We don't want to end on mine. We don't. I don't think so. Is yours a bummer? My yeah, mine's not. <laughs> it's, it's not a bummer. It's like just moody. Okay. Yeah, mine kind of is too. Oh, yeah, though unless yours is too. We can keep the same order. I'm just saying, if we if we end on mine, it's kind of moody. Well, let's start, let's go with Zach's. All right, Mine, all right. Mine's at least weird. So up. this is from a recent game that I just played that I also gave a review for. Hint, hint. So if you're <gasps> Ooh, a frequent listener, you're probably yes. where it's from. Uh, it's from Inside. Ooh, I was and not expecting this. Inside uh, has a score, but it feels more like ambient music. It's very different from my other two picks. It's more of like an exercise and in tone and atmosphere, which which I really respect. You know, it, it goes with the game very, very well. It's almost slipped slipped under so you don't even, like, notice it. So even when I was going back, I was like, I knew I wanted to do something from inside because I know there's music in it, but, like, I don't really remember it. So yeah. I like, got to listen to all the songs again and got to, like, take me back. And this one was the one that really put me back inside... <laughs> <laughs> Put me back inside, inside. Took me back. Took me me inside, inside. It really, I I knew exactly where I was when I heard this. And the other ones, I was like, where, where, what part of the game is this? I don't know. But this one was very specific. And so I thought it'd be the best choice. And uh, it's called Submarine. So it's the first time you get a submarine, I believe. Ooh, Frontier. That's what, that's at least that's how I remember it. I think. <laughs> 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 
But it is very... It, it's very apt. It puts you in a scene. It does. It's, so if it's I had heard O Death, for example, I may not have known exactly where that was from. Sure. This, or I may not have been able to tell, per se, what environment down. I'm supposed to be in. Yeah. But if you hear that, you're like, yeah, I am in a submarine. You're, and you're encapsulated. And I think that's yes. like the one feeling and mood that inside, if, if it, you know, that's the song of it, or the, you know, the feeling of inside, that, that piece of music right there, that's how the whole game feels. Hmm. It's just in encompassed by it's something contained. weighty yeah but not something good yeah you know something foreboding Ooh, oppressive how about that oppressive yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, that's, a good that's the word we're, for the, i was like what game. is this how does this make me feel yeah. oppressed yeah. <laughs> and I, who is it martin stig anderson is that how you say his name yep yeah and so that's the composer and i think the one thing about this that, that i do like a lot is the beginning and it's it sounds like a submarine going. Yeah, water, it right? does. It's yeah. got like that kind yeah. of echoey, mm-hmm. watery Splash. sound. Yeah. yeah. So minimal, boring, but very appropriate. But very appropriate for the yeah. game. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Should throw one of those so shifting there, right? gears. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> god. <laughs> it's about to get weird in here. <laughs> So I will start this by saying this is actually a game that I technically have not played. Okay. So it's a track from Disqualified. Near okay. <laughs> No, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll bring back it back. In. I'll bring it back. It just, so yeah, it's from Near Automata. So okay. technically I have played Three, the demo. Two. Oh, I played okay. the demo yeah, of enough. Nier. It is allowed. It is, it is, we are <laughs> uh, permitted. I'll put my sword away. So I, yeah, you have a lot of them, actually. So I played the demo, and I could recognize it instantly yeah. that Nier is clearly an amazing game. It's also up for a ton of nominations at the Game Awards. I think actually one of them is game? music. And I think it is. It's. It's, it's up for best role playing game, I know. Yes, huh. yes. It's, know actually, so is Persona Five, and I'm like, it's Persona Five. No, no contest. No, yeah, no. Oh. I, I looked at the other competition. And I was like, no, it's Persona Five. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. I've played enough to know that that is correct. That's the correct answer. But Near is the kind of game that I know I would not be willing to play on my own, but it's the kind of game I want to watch somebody else play it. Oh. I have actually watched the entire playthrough of this game. Like, I picked some random Japanese guy, and I was like, you, I'm going to watch you play this you game. You will be my guide. You will be you my will guide through the world of Nier Automata. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's exactly how it went. I basically watched this guy play the whole game, like in bits and pieces, of course, because it's kind of a beast of a game. But so the setup of all of Nier is, you know, we've talked about this a little bit before. You are, uh, you are androids. Mm-hmm. You go through being a couple of different androids throughout the game, and you are in a ruined future Earth. There are no humans left on Earth. It's just all robots. Yay. And you're these kind of advanced humanoid androids going through the world of like very decaying, decrepit, just rusted out, ugly world. Okay. And this is Sounds all lovely. This, so so it <laughs> gets it gets worse. So this particular scene in particular that that was really repetitive. This <laughs> particularly. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that Sherlock Holmes says all the time? This is a singularly uh, impressive oh. track because the scene is you are a uh, B2? Two, yeah, it's B2 or No, two you're 2B. Two B. Two B. You're 2B. Two two B. B. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 9S. That's the other guy. No, you're 2B. So you're 2B and you and this adorable other like lowly robot Pascal who's like your friend and she's amazing are basically like infiltrating this factory. And you come across this one particular room that's very ominous. It's at the end of a long hallway. And you open up the doors, and you and Pascal are just kind of strolling in. Everything is cool. And you immediately recognize, based on the setup and, like, the echoing voices in the background, you've kind of walked into a church sermon. And you're like, okay, what's going on here? And it cuts to a cut scene. And, like, you look up at this kind of pulpit. And everyone, all these robots are praising this, like, little robot pope. And so it cuts to like the robot Pope and he's just kind of sitting there and then his head, he kind of falls forward and his head just rolls no. off, but it's, he's a robot. There's no blood or guts. His head just kind of falls off that and it rolls and it rolls onto the ground and you and Pascal are like, huh, it's the darndest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> and then, and then there's off? kind of like a pause and then all of the robot, what do you call people that go to church? Uh, 
God, you should know this. I, know. I, should, I should know this. Um, the prayers? No. <laughs> There's got to be a word for this. Oh, uh, parish- Parishioners? The parishioners? Parishioners? That's a word for it. We can uh, use Sure, it. whatever. The churchgoers, we'll call them. They like all kind that of look at works. him, and then they all start basically kind of chanting, he has become a god. Mm. We will Ooh, all become wow. as gods. I'm very curious now. And so they're chanting, and they start moving in formation, and they've got torches, and the beat picks up and up and up, and they're saying, become as gods become as nice. gods they're building up to mass suicide oh is shit is what they're doing they their pope or whatever jonestown. he is has yeah it's very much like yeah. jonestown but it's in this weird chaotic robotic apocalypse world and this weird. is the track Neat. so keep that in mind as you listen to the track Like so that. that's I like that. that's like the I mean, whole. And so cool. after you actually get through the <laughs> cut, <laughs> yes, <laughs> cool. Yes. Because as God, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's like. <laughs> I'm totally about this. So basically, you're trying to now escape this factory where all of these robots are just committing mass suicide in very bombastic Ooh, fashion. Like shit. they're going down and they're trying to take you with them. And you're like, holy shit, Pascal, we got to get out of here. And like, even as this cut scene, <laughs> Pascal, Pascal. so you're to be, and you're like very calm and collected. And Pascal is like, I've never seen robots do this before. And to be is like, now's not the time. <laughs> we'll study this later. We'll study this later. <laughs> no, so Pascal is like, we should take some samples. And to be is like, no, <laughs> So to it's, escape. it's an bum, extremely bum. bizarre bum. fight scene as you basically fight your way out, and that's the track that's playing the whole time, and it really gets to you. Oh, like no, it, it, like that track will stay bum, with bum. you for a while after. Bum. That reminds me of the one that I mean, I love it because also it has the Gregorian Gothic chant yeah. feel to it, also. But it also reminds me of the of the game that you picked last one. Um, and now I'm forgetting the title. It was the French game with the French the French composer. You said you had the CD and you lost it in the like your in the night or at the when I totaled my Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> you were telling us this whole story about it. And now I'm completely French blanking composer. on what it's called. Gosh, what did I talk about? It's last in the, time? Uh, ah, crap. I'm forgetting. I like I'm, how the beats. I'm going blank. Um, it's not from child of light. Is it? No, that was a French Canadian composer. No, because it was like a it, French composer. It's like an action game. He guy, it's the guy on the cover. He's got a gun. I'm going to go to the episode now. Guy's got a gun. Cause I gotta, I gotta figure this out. Um, uh, I really want to know too. I don't play many games with guns. <laughs> no, you'll you'll know it. But anyway, I, keep I talking about this while I'm So actually, the great thing about that particular track is that oh, oh my, we're talking playing, now. Let's talk about that song. Is that I never would have been able to experience it if it weren't for Let's Plays because mm-hmm. I probably never would have continued to play Near Automata. It's just not the kind of game that I would naturally gravitate towards because it's kind of, it's a commitment. Like you have to commit to Near. Mm. So it's. A fascinating spectators game. Alone in the dark. Oh, oh alone in the dark. I forgot. That's oh, what I was thinking. The of. Belgian. They're yes, Belgian. Belgian, oh, not that's French. Right there, we go. You threw me. Sorry. Oh man, alone in the dark. Oop. That's actually a really good comparison. It they, me they're of that they're song. very similar. Now, all of the soundtrack for Near is episode not episode seventy seven. By the way, <laughs> if you want to go back and listen. <laughs> Ching. <laughs> it's not quite like that, but that's one of the most memorable tracks that I can think of from the game. And I've watched, I think, the whole playthrough by this point. Nice. So. Become I as like gods. Yeah, near really Automata. Like that. That's a good ending, actually. That is a good ending. We ended on that one. <laughs> because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better that one than your uh, pure. Uh, that one or O-Death. It's like, and with that, <laughs> everyone, sweet dreams. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, but no, I mean, we had we some great... We should on Cruise in USA. Yeah. <laughs> get our cars. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I am going to guarantee 100% listen to that on my way home. <laughs> but I mean, we, I feel like we had some really, uh, you know... Eclectic. Uh, yeah. yeah. A, a, really good, a really good range of songs, because I yeah. feel like, you know, before, and especially in the earlier episodes of our, so- of our soundtrack volumes that we've done, you know, we were picking Halo, Last of Us, you know, all our favorite games. Defense. And now we're really kind of, I feel like, getting into our deep cuts. Yeah. yeah. Deep so like, I feel like it's some good stuff, <laughs> some great Hurts. some great stuff. So as always with this episode, we love soundtracks. You know that by now because this is volume four. But send us your favorite soundtracks and games that we haven't touched on yet because we would love to hear it. But speaking about songs, speaking about games, songs and games together, we have a song contest for this week. Put it together. The, Smooth uh, transition. Thank you. <laughs> the uh, hint comes to us for this week from Bro Mogan, actually, Andrew oh. Mogan, because he guessed Dylan's hint from a couple weeks ago of oh. once, twice, three times a platformer, oh, being the game of Super you Mario Brothers twice. 3. His hint, the time traveling bee asking you to save the world is just the beginning. Things only get weirder from there. Wow. A long hint. That's a long hint, Andrew. <laughs> One more time, actually, probably two more times due to the length of the hint. It is the time traveling bee asking you to save the world is just the beginning. Things only get weirder from there. Would you say that it's just the bee beginning? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so we're I talking about like that. a bumblebee, right? I'm a, yeah, B E E, bumblebee ish type thing. So one more time, oh, the time traveling bee asking you to save the world oh. is just the beginning. Things only get weirder from there. Yeah, not the letter B, oh. the insect. I was like the powers that be. <laughs> no, not that. Not that either. <laughs> but so the song kind of test goes live Wednesday, 9 a.m. The day after this episode airs. First person to correctly guess the song will get to send us a song and hint for a future episode. So check Facebook and Twitter for when the contest goes live Wednesday, 9 a.m. The day after this episode airs. But with that, we've spent the last hour or so of our time enjoying some wonderful melodies. And now we'll leave you all to reflect upon them yourselves. <laughs> so until next time, I'm Jarrett Wilson. Join to my right. Rachel Mogan. Adios. To my left, Zachary Parks. Peace out. We'll see you all next time. Stick around for the song.